All right, this is going to be a quick overview of the Owly Bubo for the iPhone 3G or 3GS. Basically, it's just a uh, heavy-duty case with a, a lens built into it. It's got a macro lens right there that great for real close-up work, and then the 37 millimeter wide angle that. Uh, is normally what I use on this, but uh, it's pretty pretty heavy duty. It's machined out of aluminum and uh, well constructed, solid. It's got four tripod mount points. It's got a area here for a. It's basically a shoe for a like an LED um, lamp that you can put on, and then it also comes with a uh, a microphone that you plug into your iPhone and um, really improves the audio quality of the video. So that and a couple of lens caps. Also comes with this rubber case that you put your uh, iPhone in. And I'll show you how that all goes together here. Kind of tricky. You need to make sure that, uh, that you line up the, uh, the lens on the iPhone with the case so that it, when you do install it into the uh, Owly, that it lines up correctly. It's really easy to have that slip when you're trying to put it in there. Hopefully I'll pull this off without it getting screwed up. And the way to check for that is just to kind of look down right down the uh, the lens itself. In this case it's almost it's almost completely open. It's got a small section that's slightly there we go. So that's it. It stays in place. It's pretty secure. Then you just put the uh, microphone in and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. Um, functions just like a standard, I guess I probably won't enter my password in front of you. Um, functions like a uh, you know, standard iPhone when it's in this thing, but it's uh, you know, a little difficult. You're not going to make a lot of phone calls like this. And with the microphone, it won't allow you to uh, um, hear anything at all anyhow. So you pretty much either have to use a Bluetooth or uh, or just remove the microphone. So once it's, uh, once it's on, it's basically just a normal camera. The focusing works normally. Everything, uh, you know, acts the way it normally would. Just that it's a wider angle, wider point of view and uh, the audio quality is greatly improved. So now you have the uh, device configured pretty much the way you need it. It's, uh, it's in camera mode. We've got all the attachments. One thing you're going to want to do is uh, put the phone into airplane mode. I've noticed that you get some interference um, on the audio side with this microphone if you, uh, if you don't. So that's one thing you want to do if you're going to be shooting video. Let me go ahead and hook up a uh, it's a uh, strap, basically. It's a pretty, pretty trick device. It's a Black Rapid RS4 strap for cameras, and it just attaches to a single tripod point. And I'll show the strap here in a minute. But that thing's actually quite a nice device in itself. Okay. In addition to that, we've got one of these uh, thirty-seven dollar LED lights from Best Buy. So now what you've got basically a pretty decent little video camera that you can uh, go out and shoot in, in pretty much uh, any lighting condition within reason and get good video. A uh, couple things that I wish this had. Um, I wish you had access to the power of the iPhone so you could shut it off. Uh, right now you pretty much just have to wait for it to go into standby mode. There is no way to power it down. Um, and what else? Pretty much that's it. The uh, the case is a little weird, this, this rubber uh, system that they have to hold it in place. I wish it was a thinner piece of rubber and then perhaps a, a, some sort of fastener system that would lock the camera in permanently with more of a mechanical advantage. That would be nice. But uh, overall it's pretty nice. And uh, I've got a lot of footage here I'll show you of uh, the camera in action. and. Uh, Hopefully you'll be impressed. So uh, here we go. 
what was once an iPhone is now a full-blown video media capture device. Um, we've got, uh, got the strap on, got the light, microphone, you can pretty much go out and cover any event. With this strap, um, you know, you can't walk around with this thing and, and you know, get around. It's a little weird. It is a phone, so, you know, if you <laughs> had to take a phone call, uh, yeah, it's just not going to work. But uh, as a device to capture maybe something that's going on in the field, something like in real time where you just happen to stumble on a news story and you want to capture it, or, you know, live blogging an event, um, Ustream, you can pull that off. You just, the orientation with Ustream is, you know, vertical, so holding the device that way would be a little weird, but it would work. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's, uh, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you some footage that I've shot with it. Some of the footage I uh, took a monopod, screwed it into the bottom of one of the uh, anchor points, so basically walked around with it at, at ground level, kind of made for some dramatic effect with the, uh, with the wide angle lens. So that's it, we'll get, uh, we'll get to the video.